guys, it's Steffi Pye and I got things to say today. We're going to go over a couple of things that I picked up at TJ Maxx. I have never been there before, so I thought, you know what? I've seen these gurus just, you know, go into TJ Maxx to pick up these, uh, you know, things that are discarded from, uh, like Sephora and Ulta and stuff. And you know what? I found some things that I started playing with. I don't know if you saw my little uh, picture on Instagram today or yesterday, um, but I picked up the subculture palette. Now everybody uh, and the brother hated this thing, but you know what? I made a pretty cute eye look. So um, we're gonna put it on the face today. I've already got my base on today, but I know that there's a lot of fallout with this, so I'll probably have to remove stuff that's under here, and that's fine. I just wanted to come on camera looking cute. But uh, anyway, we're also going to uh, look at the Stila Aura Lights um, little miniatures. These are the uh, Glitter and Glow Highlighters and the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I've heard people say that they didn't like these either. Um, so, I don't know. I, I like them. So, uh, let's get started on this. What do you guys say? Are you ready to check out the Subculture Palette and see if I can make a look with this thing? Because it is dusty. It is. It's dusty, but it's, cru it's cute. It's dusty. It ain't crusty, though. But, um, we're gonna check this out. Um, so if you want to see me either pass or fail on this, <gasps> Keep on watching. All right, guys, I got you guys really super close because I am going to show you guys um, how I'm going to use this palette. Now, we all know what the subculture palette looks like, this little guy. Um, I have used this once so I could test the colors out on it. And as you can see, it's already got some uh, dust on it. So, you know, this packaging, this felt kind of stuff, picks up fingerprints, and picks up all that you know, powder and stuff really easily. Um, I do like the fact that you can bend this all the way back if you need to. It has this nice mirror. Um, but uh, as you can see, this is from one use. Uh, oh, no, let me take it back. I put some things on Chloe's eyes as well. Um, you know, I had to put this color right here, this right here on her eyes. Uh, I just blended that out. Um, but I have used quite a bit of these for myself, but I did not dig into them like um, some of those people were doing on there. I kind of tapped into them. So, um, anyway, I think we're going to get started on this. I want to go into, uh, Mercury, which is going to be this gray color right here. I want to do like a slightly cool tone look. I'm going to see if it'll work. Uh, I'm working on my eyes primed and I am setting my primer because with this, I don't think you're going to need much. Uh, you're not going to need anything for it to cling to because this stuff is pigmented. So, um, Mercury is this color. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go into it very lightly. A couple of taps, you see that? And then I'm gonna tap it off too because, um, I like to build these colors up because you don't know how pigmented they are until you get started with them. So I'm gonna tap that on the outside. And as you can see, that is very pigmented. Already we're getting definition. So, uh, but that's what I want. I want this to define the eye. I like this. This is, uh, really. Uh, a light gray or you call it a dark taupe <laughs> and I'm going to kind of put do, do a little wing there or wing my eye shadow out just a little bit and up and I know like I said I'm probably gonna have to remove all this underneath here but we're gonna go ahead and do this right here and I'm just gonna build that color up and uh, do that on both eyes I'll be right back all right, guys, I'm back. And yes, there is a little bit of fallout there on the bottom. So I figured I'd have to, uh, you know, wipe it away anyway. But I've got it to where I want it. Um, it does look a little bit muddy. Um, that's just the way it, it is. I took a little bit of this Dawn, which is this color right here. Excuse me. And I blended it out. And I took it on my brush, the same brush. And I just kind of blended out the top here. <laughs> to make sure that, um, you know, it was well blended into the skin. So, you know, that, uh, it seems like the really dark colors, if you don't blend, 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 they are, uh, pretty patchy, but, uh, you know, you know my motto, blend, blend, blend. I think I'm going to go into Axis, which is this blue color right here, green, blue, I don't know. And again, I'm not going to dig into it. I'm going to tap into it lightly. See, look at that. And that's why you get a lot of pigment. Um, I'm even going to tap off a little bit of that too. And uh, let's go ahead and build up on here. I want to make this darker. And there we go. You know, do I like to tap it where I'm going to want it to stay. I tap it right there and then kind of blend out into the crease. Because um, this is just uh, 
these darker colors are kind of hard to blend. And so you don't need a lot of it. And you just, mo mostly you're going to have to just tap it into place and hope that you can blend out the edges. This is not the easiest palette I've ever worked with, but you know what? Um, the colors are very pretty. I just, uh, I like them. I didn't think I would like this because I was like, you know what? Those are kind of tacky. I thought they looked like an Argyle sweater. <laughs> you know, that's what it kind of reminded me of. Um, however, I went ahead and purchased it because I thought, you know what? I'm going to test this out since nobody likes it. Or, well, quite a few of the influencers do not like it. Uh, I wanted to make sure. I want to see for myself. Take advice, but also take advice with a grain of salt. And even for me, I'm telling you this. Even take advice with a grain of salt for me because my skin's going to be different from your skin, okay? It's going to be totally different. We all have different skin. We all react different. I may get a, a you know, a skin reaction to something that you've been using for 20 years. Okay, and I am back. And our next step is going to be really fun. I'm going to start adding some shimmer to the uh, eyelids. And what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put like a little uh, half cut crease here. Tomorrow I get to start my orientation for Western Governors University. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to get that done. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to get started back into school. I was really disappointed in December when I was not able to finish with, um, you know, UAPB. However... You know what? Sometimes God has different plans for us or life has different plans for us. Whatever. Uh, so, you know, things happen. And that's okay. Now, the color that I'm going to put on here first is going to be Adorn, which is like this gold, copper, pretty color. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to use my finger. This is really crumbly. So, if you get this palette, if you happen to find this at TJ Maxx, which is only 20 bucks. It was $20 where I got it. Um... That's really not bad. Anyway, it's but it's crumbly, see? But that's okay. All right. I'm probably going to have fallout with this too. So that's, that's all right. That's why I've got the uh, makeup wipes or the uh, makeup remover stuff over here so I can take care of that. Anyway, let's get this pressed in. There we go. These both, do the same on both eyes, and you can see the fallout is crazy right there. So, uh, I'll be honest. okay, guys. I am back, and oh my goodness, doesn't this look awful? I promise you, it's gonna it's gonna come together. I promise. I promise. It looks terrible right now, but it's gonna look cool when I get done. I promise. I promise. Stick with me, guys. I'm not going crazy. I promise you. <laughs> anyway, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put electric on the inner part and pull it into that other color that uh, adorn and this is the coolest like green pink gr i don't know it's got all kinds of colors in it i like it maybe it doesn't have much colors in it but it looks like it does it reflects quite a bit and that's what i kind of like about it so i uh put in that air corn and kind of sweep it over that bronzy color and that looks so cool yeah it's awesome okay Let's do that on this other eye as well. And then I'm going to clean all this up. All right. I've got everything on. I All I did was go back in and, of course, remove all that fallout. There was quite a bit. You saw that, you know, it's best to do your eye makeup before you do your base with this palette because there is fallout. There is fallout uh, or kick back in the pan. Um, that's just the way it is. So, anyway, all I did, though, is go back with a pencil brush and did all-star right here and then i did a little bit of edge on the front part of the uh, eye there and then i just blended all that out with a new wave as you can see and then just to blend it down even further i took dawn and just kind of pulled that down even more uh and then i went and uh, what did i put i put well i put the sigma the black liner uh in my waterline on the top eye or the top waterline i don't have anything in the bottom waterline because i think it looks fine the way it is um but what i do want to do is use one of these little steel guys here oh my gosh they're so pretty i'm actually going to put some of the highlight on here too even though i've got a highlight on uh i do want to put some of the highlight on um and i think i am going to use this little guy this one says a monarch and this is supposed to be a highlighter. Let's see how it works. Okay. All right. 
Okay, I'll tap that out. You got copper, I think, or something. Let me see here what this color is. This is really cute. This is Kitten Karma. At least these are just little samples. So, now let's do this side. I like that. It gives you even more definition. Okay, guys. What do you guys think? Let me pull you guys a little bit further away. I have in the vacuum right when I'm just doing this. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you like the look? What do you think of this palette? Have you got this palette? Have you seen everybody else that's doing these or that has done these reviews? Because this palette's like a year or something old, I guess. I don't even know. I just know that I enjoy it. I think the colors are pretty good. I uh, have done this look twice now. I think it's really cool. Um, and I've got ideas for more. So, uh, I think it's I think it's a pretty cool little palette, you know? Same thing with these little Stila guys. Um, I will get some use out of these because I usually put some glitter on my eyes every time I make I do makeup. Um, so, I will get use out of these. I, I've actually got diamond dust already. And I've got, now I've got the little sample of diamond, diamond dust. So, I can throw that in my purse. Ha! Ah, love it. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And remember, um... You know keep coming back give me a like a thumbs up i'm gonna do my best to get back into doing videos and everything i know i haven't been on here in a while um uh let's talk about that i guess let's talk about that before i go um i got a little bit of depression uh it kind of kept me from doing anything uh, i was really not motivated i really didn't want to film uh you know i didn't want to do anything really and that's just the truth. I, I, uh, you know, after my friend passed away, that kind of just got to me quite a bit. I've had two friends die in quick succession to one another. One right around Thanksgiving and one in February. And so, by suicide, that's what I mean. And so, both of those things kind of play on your mind when, uh, you know, I've, I've had suicide attempts before. And it just, uh. You know, you wonder, is there anything I could have done? I wish they'd have called me. I wish things would have been different. You know, those things, you just think about those things. And, uh, you know, I guess that kind of triggered my depression when the first friend out in Colorado, when she killed herself, um, that kind of triggered things. Um, and then things started going downhill in, in December when they started messing with my financial aid. Then January, and then, you know, the phone wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. And then, you know, uh, February was just horrible with Shannon passing away by suicide. And then now, um, I'm finally getting around to making some videos. So, <laughs> the truth is, I have depression. I have clinical depression. I have some anxiety. And so, sometimes I cannot do things. I have no uh, get up and go to do what I love and to talk to my friends on here and that's just the truth and I hate that I hate that that's the way that my mind works but uh unfortunately that's the way depression is anyway that's a heavy subject oh my god ah but you know what um everything's gonna be okay because God's got me and I go to AA when I need to and you know what uh my God just supply all my needs according to his recent glory by Christ Jesus bye guys